Hi, this is Dina Tollison. Thank you for joining me today and welcome to my studio. I'm painting with a spoon in a technique called Dalbism. If you're familiar with pointillism, uh, pointillism is a form of divisionism, as is Dalbism. It's a, it was a technique I developed in uh, the year 2000. Um, that technique can be done either palette knives or um, in spoons, as I'm showing you here now. So we'll put a mark here. And I'll show you, I've got this green. Let me show you how I mix this green. I'll set my spoon down. So I made this green by mixing yellow that you see here. This is a, um, I'll show you here, it's a, this is a primary yellow and then Mars Black, and I mix those two together to make this kind of wonderful, luscious green. I'll uh, mix up a little bit more. I'll use, to do the mixing, I'll use a palette knife. So here's my, this is a, uh, what is this here? A low Cornell. Looks like it's a J, looks like a J10 size. But I'll just take my primary yellow. And you'll notice I just take a tiny little bit of the black. It doesn't take much. But we can make this wonderful, natural looking green with just black and yellow. And normally you think, oh, in order to make green, I'm going to need to use yellow and blue. Let's see, there we get a similar color. Now if I want to go a little darker, let me add more black, let's make a darker green. This is a kind of a sun-kissed, natural looking green. Oh, that's nice. You can go as light or as dark as you want with this mixture, depending on if you want more of a yellow green or you want more of a, a dark green. There, that's nice. Now I'm gonna wipe off my spoon, and uh, then I'll I'll uh, apply this dark green here to my painting. Okay, so I've got my spoon nice and clean. I'm gonna dip into this wonderful, beautiful green that we just mixed. Now I see I've got a little streak of color in here. I like to have it be all one one shade, so I'll just mix that back in. Well, let's see where we want to put this guy. How about right over here? Whoops, you know, I need a little bit more paint on my spoon. Let's, there we go. All right, that's nice. And let's do one more mark. Where do we want to put one here? Well, I think this is a good spot right over here. There. All right, so now I've got a nice big puddle of white here on my spoon. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more texture into our background. Like that. And where else do we need a mark? Let's see. I think we can use one right about here. So I love painting sunflowers. I feel like they're um, they're such strong flowers with neat personalities. And this composition I have uh, here, I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see. I have these two sunflowers, and they're um, it's a the canvas is 20 inches tall and 40 inches wide. And these two sunflowers are I I like the idea that they're relating to one another. They're they're a happy, uh, like a happy couple. Oh, 
Let's see if we can get a little mark right about in here. Oh, that's good. I'm going to go back into this paint and do that edge like that. There we go. See, so if you have an edge that you don't like, you just go back in with more paint. It's no big deal. Well, let's see here. How about up here? We could use something up here. Mm, that's a nice one. All right. Now looking at the painting, I think, uh, I think maybe we could use a little bit of some gold or something up in these areas. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up a color. Let's go ahead and do that now here. A bit of the, I feel like I could use a little bit of the yellow up on the painting. So let's get a little guy up in here. nice and maybe uh, oh, maybe over here there we go let's see it's always nice to put three in of something let's do let's maybe do a third one maybe we need a third one right here there we go. All right, so now let's uh, let's mix up kind of a gold color. I've got my, my yellow here, and let's mix in a little bit of this dioxine purple. And just like with the black mixed in with uh, when we did black plus yellow to make the green, to make this gold kind of a warm, golden color, you might think, well, why aren't you using like orange or something? But this purple, dioxine purple and yellow are opposites on the color wheel. So I'm actually making what, uh, what would technically be a gray because since when you mix opposites on the color wheel together, it's a very neutral color. See what a beautiful, kind of a nice gray. This makes a beautiful neutral color. There, that's nice. So now, let me wipe off my spoon and then we can put it on the painting. All right, got a clean spoon. Well, it was a clean spoon, got a clean spoon now. And let's load up our our spoon with the gold that we just mixed and go ahead and find a nice place to put it here. I think this would be nice there. Let's get another little dab of that. And where else might we like to put something here? Hmm. I see a spot right over here that would be good with a little gold. And this process is just very relaxing. You can really just put dabs wherever you like, wherever you feel like they should go. I try to use happy colors and fun and bright colors, but I also want to make sure that in my color scheme I'm including enough of these neutrals. And that kind of ties everything together. I make my paintings from a limited uh, palette, usually 8 to 10 original colors, and then mix all these variations and things by just uh, adding them together and combining them in different ways. Well, thank you so much for watching me today. This is Dina Tollefson, and I appreciate you subscribing to my channel. And thank you for watching, and until next time, have a good day. Bye-bye.